Welcome aboard everyone to my review of the Carnival Pride cruise ship. Uh, we departed aboard the Carnival Pride from Baltimore. Uh, this is the port of Baltimore you can see here. Uh, we're just getting ready to uh, to board the ship. Uh, Baltimore you don't really think of being a cruise ship port uh, but it's great because a lot of the airfare in and out of Baltimore especially Airtran is very inexpensive and then you can take a uh, it's called the light rail from the airport to downtown it's only like 75 cents and then from downtown you can get a taxi probably for around $13 from downtown Baltimore to where the cruise ship is so it's a very easy and cost-effective place to get in and out of uh, now once uh, once you board the ship though expect to uh, to be on board for quite a while before you depart it's not a problem though the, the carnival staff is super courteous they're feeding you drinks and uh, You've got all the buffet food already accessible, so it's it's a great time to uh, to get acquainted with the uh, with the ship. And we hung out on the top deck and just kind of checked things out. There's putt putt. We played some putt putt, had a few drinks until we started moving. And when you when you pull out of there, it's really neat because you go under this big bridge. But uh, one of the one of my favorite things about Carnival, as you can see here, you can get buffet food and put whatever, whatever twist you want on it. I mean, these are nachos, with mushrooms, and and uh, chili. I mean, you can, you know, you want it, you can do it. And, of course, all the buffet food and the formal dinner every night is included. And I highly recommend the formal dinners every night because the food is incredible, especially the captain's dinner when they usually serve lobster. I mean, it's fantastic. Now, aboard the uh, Carnival Pride, there is an additional dining option. Now, it's it's not included. But it's at the top, as you can see here, the statue of David. It's called David's Restaurant. A lot of people said it was good, and they spent extra to eat there. We didn't because we felt the food everywhere else was great, and uh, didn't want to spend extra for you know for the cruise ship itself. Uh, one thing I did like was our room. It was seventy two forty nine. It was midship, great location with a balcony. Uh, of course, easy to get in and out of to the pool areas and everything. And it was quiet. Uh, we did the Bon Voyage, which meant we had our the liquor of our choice in our room when we got there. Uh, that helped to save a lot of money for the uh, for the cruise. Here I am walking out onto the balcony. And then here's a view of the balcony from the uh, from the bed. So you, you can see it's really a uh, <clears throat> really neat view that you get there. And then a view from the balcony of the open ocean. The open ocean is really cool. Uh, back to the top of the ship shortly before sunset. Uh, this is typically an area that's not too crowded. A uh, good place to go if you, I mean, not that this ship was crowded, but uh, this pool area right here during the day was very crowded. This was the midship pool. Um, but, I mean, it's it's still not too crowded. Uh, and then the sunsets, the sunsets were one of the most awesome parts of the cruise. Uh, we shot this one from the back of the ship. And a uh, cruise it, it is worth it just for the sunsets alone. I mean, it's very relaxing and it's hard to beat a uh, sunset at, you know, in the open ocean. And then every night when you go back to your room, they create a towel animal and put on your bed. It's really neat. Our steward for our room was super friendly. Always had ice for us and everything. Great guy. Uh, this is a view from the top of the ship the next day. Top of the ship's never really crowded. And, you know, we went up there quite a bit just to, uh, to get away from the crowd. Uh, as you can see here, here's another view from the top. It's a really huge and uh, awesome ship. Tons of stuff to do on it. And another view from the top. So the myth that these ships, the carnival ships, are overrun by children is not necessarily true. A lot of people avoid carnival because they feel like, oh, the uh, it's going to be overrun by kids. It's not going to be relaxing. Now, as you can see here, this is the back adults only deck, and it can get very crowded. Uh, a lot of people will get out there before sunrise and put a towel down to claim their spot, which I don't agree with that. But typically, if you get out there and you get in the pool and just relax and wait uh, to see someone get up, you can you can usually get a seat. Now, we didn't hold our seats. If if we both left to get some food, we uh, uh, we would surrender our seat and try to find a new one when we got back. Not that it was a problem, but uh, in comparison to some other cruises I've been on, this one, the Carnival Pride out of Baltimore, people were uh, seemed to be particularly rude about saving seats that they weren't even using. 
Uh, here we are in a pool on the Serenity deck. It's really nice. It was a saltwater pool. Uh, we spent a lot of time in there. It was very, uh, very relaxing. And then there were benches throughout the ship. If you want to sit down and get away from the crowd and relax, really nice. Um, here's another view shortly before sunset from the top of the ship. And then a really awesome sunset. This was the night before we actually got to Bermuda. You can see the, the sun going down. Now, one of the most awesome parts I thought was when you could see Bermuda. And as you can see here, it's about to pop up in the distance. When we're actually getting ready to pull into port, you can see there was another cruise ship already there in port. And then this is where, before we docked, we docked right against that. It was easy to get on and, on and off. You didn't have to use a tender boat. You just literally throughout the day and night could walk on and off the ship. So it was kind of like having your own hotel in Bermuda for a few days. So we, we had several days to play on shore. Uh, one thing that I highly recommend is getting a scooter. As you can see here, you can rent them at Oleander Cycles. Right, right when you get off the cruise ship, you'll find it. It's just a few hundred yards away. Carnival doesn't recommend it, but I do recommend it. We were able to explore over 100 miles within the few days that we were there on scooter. So we got to hit all of the hot spots in Bermuda. Absolutely incredible island. And uh, here's a beautiful shot of the water from, uh, from Elbow Beach, uh, one, of the, one of the many awesome beaches that Bermuda has to offer. Um, this, this cruise, or Bermuda is one of the most fascinating islands I've ever been to, and I've, I've been to quite a few places, but uh, well worth it. And if, if you're in Bermuda, definitely eat at the Swizzle Inn. They're, uh, they're famous for a drink, it's called a rum swizzle, which is absolutely incredible. But also their food, uh, in particular their uh, Bermudian fish chowder, is outstanding and it's definitely worth uh you know passing by on your moped or a taxi to pick up some Bermudian uh, fish chowder and to have a uh to have a rum swizzle and then one of the most incredible aspects of this cruise that's the view from our balcony when we're at port so it's like having a hotel with an awesome view of an old castle the royal naval dockyards every night and then this mill right here was fantastic bonefish grill right there adjacent to the cruise ship just a short walk. Great place to go and eat some awesome uh, fresh seafood and I mean it was it was at, it was outstanding. Now the the prices in Bermuda are quite expensive though. And then that's me walking back to the uh to the Carnival Pride all lit up at night. It's a really cool sight. And then unfortunately we we pulled out. You can see the the Bermuda in the distance we had to leave and everybody was uh uh, the view from our balcony here, you could see everybody was standing watching. It's like, oh, we got to get out of here. And uh, everybody was upset. And then finally, a view from from the open ocean. I highly recommend this cruise. Now, it's not a cruise if you're if you're looking for younger people to hang out with. It's more of an adult crowd, but it's very nice. It's very affordable. And I would definitely do the Carnival Pride out of Baltimore to Bermuda again. And uh, thanks for tuning in and have a good one.